I mean, she had herself a monstrous game in this win here, bro. Kaitlyn Clark finished with 41 points, 12 assists, and 7 rebounds. And, man, she clearly dominated the entire game, bro. I mean, she lit Haley Van Lith up, bro. <laughs> and it was, it was crazy to watch because Haley didn't do a bad job defending her. Like, it was a, a pretty good job that she did guarding her, but it was just it's not much you can do when you're, watch, when you're guarding Kaitlyn Clark. And, I mean, ultimately, too, I think this was just really good basketball from both ends. Um, I witnessed LSU have some great basketball. I, I witnessed um, Iowa play a lot of great basketball as well. And this is probably the best basketball that I've watched the entire March Madness. Um, truth be told, bro. So, you know, it, it was definitely a dope game. Um, one of the things, too, that's interesting, though, even though LSU lost, I kind of put this blame on Kim Muckley, bro. Um, you know, I, I kind of give her the blame for why LSU ended up losing this game because obviously Kaitlyn Clark, she had herself a game. She went off. She did her thing. Um, but one of the things that bothered my soul when watching this was the fact that the way LSU defended the screens was just not a way that was really going to get you a win. You pretty much allow Kaitlyn Clark to go off and have extra room to shoot a three-pointer because you decided to go under each screen. So if someone came over there, they set a pick, and, and Kaitlyn Clark goes around the pick, you're supposed to fight through that. Leave her with as little as space as possible to possibly get a shot off. But for some reason... LSU decided, all right, we're going to give her some space and we're going to go underneath the screen as if Kaitlyn Clark can't shoot that shit from deep, bro. And that's exactly what happened because she was knocking down three after three after three after three after three after three. It happened, especially in that third quarter because... That was the huge momentum shift. That was the deciding factor in terms of is Iowa going to continue to keep a comfortable lead in this game? That was when we really seen the dynamic of the entire game shift because Kalen Clark kept getting these deep bomb threes. They're like a bunch of weights just being tossed on you every time she hits a three. It's a dagger. Each time, whether it's a dagger in the middle, like a, in a literal sense of the game of crunch time or not, either way, it's going to be a huge weight on your team. And then also, too, one of the other things I noticed that I blame Kim Malkley for is the offensive end. Now, LSU, they started off the game. It was fairly solid. Um, I thought, you know, the way they, they handled themselves early on in the game of getting the ball down low, getting these easy buckets, um, creating these open shots and stuff, taking advantage of open threes. I thought that was a great game plan. But at some point down the line, I want to say it was around that third quarter. That's kind of when it got a little stagnant for LSU. That's when... That whole game plan on the offensive end turned to, okay, let's get the easiest shot selection to let's let Angel Reese play 1v1. And that's cool to an extent. That's fine to an extent. Once 1v1 isn't working anymore, you need to look somewhere else. You need to do something else. You need to cook something up. But I watched LSU feed Angel Reese in the ball in the post about 50 times, play after play after play. And it's like, okay. Iowa's in the zone. Clearly, you're not going to be able to, to, to score down low when it's four people surrounding her. Like, you got to figure something else out. You got to get some easier shots. You got to run a play. Maybe uh, stop and pop on a mid-range. Find a person in the middle at the free throw line and get an easy bucket. And, and I mean, some of these things happen, but during crucial stretches of the game... I did not watch this. I did not see this happen. And it was a lot of turnovers that was going on as well on LSU's behalf. So, you know, that was that was a, a thing that bothered me. So outside of Kaylin Clark doing her thing, it's not much you can do about that. Um, but one of the things you could have done about that was send some double teams. I didn't see Kim Walkley send any double teams. I didn't see any traps. I didn't see um, the whole team shift their focus to Kaylin Clark um, at any point in the game, even though she was tearing them up. I didn't witness that. And I give credit to, to um, Iowa as well because they had two other players on the team that put up 20-plus points, which is dope. And that, that's something that's needed if they're going to go on to that next level. But ultimately, um, I think this was a huge game, and it was a great game. I, I, loved, I loved the game that it turned out to be. Um, and, and, you know, Iowa, they played better today, and they won. They earned this win.